Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Monster Train. And last time we played, we unlocked the Melting. Uh, I have not played a game with them yet. I have not looked them up in any way whatsoever. No spoilers for me. So we're going to be going totally blind to see how they do. Since we need a win with all of the various combinations, I figured what I'll do probably the next four videos will all be um, the melting, so we can unlock some stuff. And I'll just go from left to right with the uh, the allied clan here, so that we can get a pair of each of those. Um, and then at that point, I think we'll probably go ahead and turn on some covenant mode. We might be a little vulnerable still with um, with the ones that ha we haven't leveled up a lot, like the melting, for example, but I think it'll still be worth the extra difficulty to attempt things somewhere, something like that. <clears throat> Let's go see what we got. So our champion is Rector Flicker. <laughs> Rector, damn near Flicter. Anyway, um, ten ten, no abilities as is, uh, and our other. Oh, then that's different. So I mean, we're getting the five torches because of the Hellhorn, and of course we've got the train stewards. But what the melting bring apparently is more creatures instead of spells. Burnout counts down every turn when burnout runs out. The unit dies. Yeah, so they are more creatures, and they melt down waxer type. All right. I bet you there's going to be a lot of things that interact with burnout with here. And um, I hadn't, I, I must have read the description of the melters at some point, but I think I, I'd sort of forgotten about it. And I just kept thinking melter, it's going to be some sort of icy kind of base thing, but no, it is wax and that's really neat. All right, what kind of upgrades do you get? Mm, okay. So we could give our champion burnout. It does give him massive stats. He's going from a 10-10 to a 60-60, but he's only around for three rounds. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to get something that might be able to reset burnout stats at some point, but we don't have any of that right now. Alternatively, we got the harvest, which is when something on this floor dies, it gets some hit points. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go all in on burnout. Might be really dumb right now, because uh, we're really going to have to YOLO something that helps for it. Plus three on the X value cards, I think, is really helpful. Really helpful. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead with this. I mean, we've got... <clears throat> we've got... It's short term, but we've got an, a lot of extra power being added in by our dude over here. It's unfortunate it doesn't have trample. Now, these guys are coming in with rage. Maybe we don't need to fight them right away. <clears throat> I mean, they're still going to have the bonus damage, but with the burnouts and stuff, like, I could go here and just sort of tank some damage, but do I care that much about it? I don't know. What I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to load two train stewards on the top, because they can just sit around here forever and be fine. But I'm just going to go ahead and... it might be a little awkward not getting our champion. But these guys keep coming in, which is really annoying. I can torch you for money, which is good anyway. <clears throat> um... These guys can survive one hit. Yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd all get they'd all get obliterated. So um, nothing we want to do like that. I suppose what I should do is trim you guys down a little bit here. <clears throat> maybe this was not a good way to start it, but it feels maybe the, the plus four strength. There's our brief respite, which is nice. Um, you're gonna kill one. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to torch couple of you so then you won't die you will wipe that out which is great i'm going to torch another one of these and i'm going to put two dredges down here <clears throat> i realize they're going to lose one of their burnouts but we're not going to cycle this hand again there's the boss we can give another dredge over here we'll knock you down knock you down so now we're actually applying boss damage um If I zap you, you'll survive and you'll kill a second one for less damage up there, which I think is what I want to do. <clears throat> could put boss damage on. But... Now, we should draw our champion here, almost certainly. It would be very bad luck for us to not draw our champion right now. <clears throat> there he is. I'm going to put him up front because he can tank the Well, he's just going to win the fight. Like, it's not even close. Um... So it's interesting. I actually don't mind this decision. If they weren't coming in with so much strength, we would have deployed the champion right away. But you get the bonus unit draft. Restore 10 health and apply burnout 2 to friendly unit. Hello. Dripfall descend. Oh. Enhance the unit with plus 5 attack and apply burnout 2. Um. 
I think I'm going to take this because I feel like this is going to be a good one to maintain our our champion. He doesn't really need more attack right now. <clears throat> now, when Burnout runs out... So theoretically, what we could do is we could put... Oh, it's friendly unit. I was going to say, we could put Burnout in enemy unit. Nah, <laughs> they thought about that. Um... The ascending and descending and stuff is cool, especially the, I, I tend to still prefer the descend. Um, I'm wondering about grabbing an imp. Yeah, you know what? I think it'll help us for now. We might later on be a little like, oh, we shouldn't have this guy, but for now it's okay. Lady of the House, burnout three, and very potent. We don't have the, we're not getting the extra um, energy <clears throat> right now. Um, as part of this reward, right? I don't think so. I think, yeah, it's just the unit draft. Um, so we won't be able to cat summon this guy right away. Maybe we'll just go and do this, and we'll keep grabbing things that maybe can increase their burnout. I mean, we won't be able to necessarily maintain everyone unless we've got various AoE effects. Um, I, I don't know if we need another unit too badly. Normally, early on, I would definitely wait the unit, but these guys are extra units that we're starting with, and we draft the Lady House, who's pretty strong. And I'm not, I'm going to lean in have more heavily on the burnout type thing. So maybe we don't need this. On the other hand, maybe we want more non-burnout units. But we've got a pretty awesome spell here. Now, all we do is add more healing. Maybe we do just want to buff up our units. On the other hand, money's good too. We could also just purge. Okay, I think I'm going to go to the right. If we don't upgrade any spells, it's not a huge deal. It would be nice to upgrade the units, but... Um, double stack would give burnout four. And there may be tremendous value in doing that. Because uh, right now, like, th this burnout four will last long enough that we can draw this again or, or some other things. Maybe... We don't know how many of those cards we'll be able to draw, so let's go ahead and do that. I don't think I'm going to spend money on a reroll here. I don't think... Um, you know what? How about I search stone a torch? That's fine. Yeah, it's consumed, but that's okay. Um, I could make it... Well, there's no point in making it cheaper because we cast it over and over. Um, I don't know if making those free would matter. I think I will go and purge one train steward here. Okay, I'll save the rest of the cash for our purchases next time around. I think that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Oh, I really like this burnout mechanic. It's going to be cool. Enter with armor tent. That is a lot of armor. Uh, for unit draft. Okay, if it was an artifact, I'd go for it for sure. If it was gold, um, I'd probably go for it. I don't know about the if we need the unit draft as badly. I think I'm just going to go and fight as is. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, an extra unit is probably a good thing, but I'm not sure it makes enough of a difference. So we're going to drop you up front, and you're going to start slaughtering things, and then actually we can do this to double tap. Um, yeah, what the hell? I mean, we can get a few other ways, too. Um, I think I will just put a train steward behind these guys. Oh, you're size two. Never mind. I could put the dredge. But we don't need you right now. Let me just park you up way up top. And, well, um, let's not encant because it'll just do extra damage. And since that guy's going to die anyway. You're not going to matter. I want to minimize how much damage you do. Yeah, it's... I'm not sure if not spending those dredges is correct. But yeah, you're the most important one. Oh, it's telling us you're going to burn out now. Yeah. There's nothing really that's going to be done about it. Um... You're not, you're not gonna come up again. Let me just do this. You can tank a hit from the boss. Which is already dead, so that's fine. Okay.
Yeah, he's so big and chunky right now. Just making sure that he survives, like, the one round. Like, with the one, you know, extra burnout. Extinguish. Apply. Stealth 1 to friendly units. Okay. So this is when it dies. It Theoretically, it could happen... Put it up front, it could die from the damage, and then get stealthy and protect the rest of the units. That's interesting. I was going to say something burnout, but we don't need that. Apply burnout 3 to friendly burnout units. And then here's another way to do it. AoE is kind of interesting. It is a one-time. Which is probably all we need. Wicklash is also kind of cool, too, for the target. But you know what? I think one of these would be kind of nice on the floor. That's a lot of energy. Rage 6. Sacrifice Imp. Um, that's a lot of damage, but the, it's so awkward to like guarantee that there's an Imp out. I don't think the extra energy matters so much for us, although this is an expensive spell where it would. Um, Rage is pretty good. It's an extra 12, then 10, then 8, then blah 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 damage. Um, I might just skip this one. You know what? I think I'm fine with that. Okay, we got an artifact over here, a remnant unit over there. We get the concealed caverns regardless. Duplicating a card um, would be kind of nice because we did upgrade that. The, the healing spell or doubling this would both be really good and probably give us all the burnout generation we need. But no, we're going to go to the right. Um, we're going to start by taking a look at what our artifacts are. Deal five damage to enemy units when a burnout unit dies. Third card, turn, draw three. Well, tell you what, let's, let's you know, commit to the burnout theme. That seems okay. Um, let's take this unit first. So, ooh, Parathen Thug. When it kills something, I gain money. When something on this floor dies, we gain money. I don't know if there's much of a difference. I'll probably grab one. We don't have a lot of really tanky stuff. On the other hand, if we put this just behind our boss on the first floor... Well, I mean, it has to get the sleigh down, but... Let me do this. All right, what you got for me, Cavins? Do 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 do. Ooh, I think this is new. Flesh and a glowing brands are scattered next to a granite crypt. Each brand bears the mark of one of the clans of Hell. Mm-hmm. Branding the crypt, <clears throat> excuse me, may yield additional support from the clan either through magic. Or... Okay, rare Awoken, rare Stygian, rare Umbra. I feel... Oh, it is going to be a draft pick. Okay, that's interesting. Because if it's just a single card... Because, as I say, the Umbra, we might get something that just has, you know, um, uh, what's it called? Gorge on it, which is no good if we don't have Morsels. On the other hand, if we just got a Morsel generator, that'd be okay. Um, an Awoken would probably, you know... Um, I mean, it could be a spell with some more healing. It could be something that, you know, gets better when it gets healed. But we don't really have that much healing effect. And then the Stygian... It might be some enchants and things, which could actually work pretty well. I feel like going Stygian or Umbra might offer the best chance of having some things synergistic. Although we could use, you know, big old fatty to, you know, tank for us. That's the Awoken is good for. I kind of just want to go... I'm going to go with Stygian. I don't know. Then Pyrebound. Wow, these are a little awkward. This is probably fine, actually. Um, we might be able to get it to be cheaper, and then it becomes a really powerful card for us. I think that's okay. Decent utility. If it was uh, hinting that it was, um, we knew it was going to be spell or unit or whatever, then it might change the amount that I was waiting different decisions. Alright, we got to face Daedalus. So we do a little freebie damage from the exploding candle. That's about it. Oh, what kind of explosion stuff? Uh, damage shield. Alright, which is kind of annoying. And you're gonna summon it on the base floor for 10 damage right away. And I can't, like, double nuke you or anything. Um. I think it's fine to go ahead and build this up. We'll do that, which will kill you. Drop that. And we'll throw one more in there, and that's gonna have to be okay. And then, way at the top... Actually, maybe I'll spread it out in case there's, um... Uh... I was going to say spread it out for the loot monkey. On the other hand, this might make them more vulnerable to an explosion. As opposed to double stacking. I think I'll double stack. It's sort of six of one, half a dozen, you know, but... 
Uh, we needed our, um, we needed our, um, uh, AoE burnout thingy. I'll probably just ignore you. I could torch you twice, though. It actually might be worth doing that. And then what I can do is I can put the paraffin thug here. And he'll just do 20 damage to the boss. I suppose I could put down the dredge for extra damage. I think I will. Okay. Okay, I need to draw one of my burnout generators. Uh, that is not the AoE one, which is really the one I wanted. But at least we can keep you alive. That's going to have to be okay. Um, I'm going to do this to tank the explosion. And actually, I could go ahead and pop you now. I think I will. I don't think we're going to put dredges here. No reason to put one down right here, so we'll just save them. You'll take a little bit of damage, and that's going to be A-OK, -okay, and you're going to burn out, but it has to be fine, too. Yeah, if we can upgrade um, the thug here to have huge amounts of extra AoE, that would be nice. Um, let's get you down. Let's hallow drippings to make sure you're not going to do expire anytime soon. Um, I know you're getting incanted, but it's not for much. It almost just nuked you dead here. Can't do you, which is too bad. I could just bop you. You only get plus one attack, so we'd still save three damage overall. Okay. Let me do that. Um, how many zero cost cards do I have? Dredges and the purifying cleanse is there. Okay. Do it on a different floor. There's the cleanse, which is going to be worthwhile. And you're going to explode. Yeah, that's you're going to despawn. So if you do put a burnout here, it should lead to damage on the boss, right? No. Oh, no, because he didn't actually die. That's still... Okay, it's still damage, so that's still worthwhile. Um... This so that you don't kill anyone. I know, you're going to encant, but it's still going to be okay. I'm just going to do this for more boss damage. Or for any boss damage. I might have been able to tweak the order so that I could get a kill and get some money. Oh, you're already dead. Here. Eat the damage just because I can. Okay. Boom. I say the 60-60 is pretty good as long as we were able to get boosts. Okay. We will have a major enhancement coming up. We'll try to keep that in mind. We do have a card that costs two and lets us draw a card, so extra energy would be nice. Stealth, Extinguish, triggers on death, gets plus 10 attack permanently. I mean, that is pretty good, actually. Um, deal damage to the front enemy unit equal 10 times the number of friendly unit deaths this battle. Okay. I don't think that's a good one for us now, but I could see that some interesting stuff with this. Um, this plus an Umbra deck, like, Melting Umbra, because... I'm assuming being eaten counts as a death. This could do huge. Extinguish. So when this dies, return a random defeated unit to your hands. Enhance it with plus 40 attack. I like it. Let's do some weird shit with this. So it gains plus 3 attack every time it attacks. Oh, for spellcasting, sure, maybe the Horned Warrior. You know what? I think I like this Elf Fiend. I think... Yeah, I think we added in. I think either energy or capacity. I don't think we need the draw. I think the energy is actually going to be a good pick for us. Right now. Yeah. That's what I think. Boom, boom, boom. Remnant gold upgrades. Unit upgrades is good. Removing stuff and then upgrading as well. Yeah, no, we're definitely going to go to the right. Um, Let's just upgrade our champion first. So I can just give you a stupid amount more stats. I mean, it's only 15, 15 more, which is pretty, I mean, uh, sorry, 25, 25 more. It's a fair bit more, 50 more stats. On the other hand, resolve. Um, here's after combat. 
Return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, I understand now. Oh, okay. The melting are cool. They're all about brezzing their own stuff. They're short-lived, but keep brezzing themselves. Or do we just want a giant beefcake? We already have a way to bring some units back, right? I did pick up the one, uh... Uh, the formless child. On the other hand, this would keep triggering every round? Hold on. And we can just use body blockers with greater impunity and use more imps and stuff. Round three, revenge. Friendly burnout units gain burnout one. This is whenever it gets hit. Wait, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna grab one of these. We're, we're starting to have a fair amount of uh, dudes in here. Health, multi-strike, uh, rage. Both of those are pretty good combat. Um, I think what we want to do is we want to multi-strike the Alpha Fiend because every time it strikes, it gets a power-up, right? It's expensive, but I think that's pretty good. And then we should just give it some more damage. I mean, with whatever, it's going to be okay. Now, for health, I think this one here with the Revenge, we want you to trigger as often as possible. That would be Swell. Uh, do I reroll or purge, or... I think a reroll is worth it, actually. We've got a lot of decent stuff. Um, large stone... I mean, we kind of want you to die right away. You being large... We don't have much in the way of capacity. Would still be kind of nice, though. I guess the large does make it a little tricky. Still, I think that's okay to do. You hit harder for your sleigh, and then we may as well do this. I mean, we can make you tank here, but I don't know if that makes much sense. We could just add some health to the Parathen bug, but maybe we can just give him more attack later on. We'll just make the Lady of the House a little tankier. That's going to be okay. I don't know. I think that our um, our unit composition, I think with our capacity and making it using the large stone, I think we're going to be a little awkward. That's a lot of extra attack, but we kind of not worried about damage, in a sense, because we've got ways to bring things back from the dead. I don't know. Do we? My voice just get higher and higher until I come up with a decision. Um, we have five capacity. We could put you up front. We could put the Alpha Fiend behind you. As long as we can keep you alive. Yeah, you know what? I think it's fine. We'll do this, we'll do that. Everyone's going to die, but we're going to go ahead and... What's, what's your ability here? Yeah, you get the haste. Um, I'm going to torch you first to dramatically reduce the amount of damage that we're going to take in. Um, I could put down the lady the house, but I don't think I'm going to right now. Because I think she might just burn out before we could do something useful about it. Although we have ways to bring people back, so... The loot monkey over there. Well, let's get a kill with the paraffin thug for lots of extra money. This would add burnout to you. On the other hand, I have to make sure that the lead guy doesn't die. Oh, it doesn't! Okay. Because it says... Oh, to friendly burnout units. Okay. Um, I may as well drop... Actually, I guess I'll put something in front of you. That'll be okay. We can always throw another dredge in front of there, too, later on. Oh, fuck! Excuse me. Sorry for the exclamation there. I forgot that I'd, I wanted to get a kill there for the extra 20 gold. I may as well kill you. And the rest don't matter. I could just drop the imp as an extra body blocker. I could just save it for the damage. I think I will just drop you. Same thing here. Just to thin the deck, if nothing else. Boom. Um, I guess reduce some damage. And that's not enough to do anything else there. But you're not going to clear the board. Um, do I want to let you go up here so that you can maybe get a kill? 
No, you know what? I'm gonna torch you so that you do die. At least you're getting stronger and stronger here. I'm just gonna deep offering right now. And do that. You being on the top floor is not gonna help. This is gonna be too late for you to do anything with the boss. Uh, which we're gonna beat anyway, so we're fine there. I would like super fine. Yeah, we definitely use some capacity. Maybe I should have gone for that instead of the energy. You know what? Have I ever really regretted going for extra capacity? Not really. Um, gain one energy for each friendly unit death this battle. Well, that would be a huge amount of energy one turn. Reform a unit. Return a defeated friendly unit to your hand. Enhance it with stuff. I don't know if we need more of these. Fatal melting. Deal damage to enemy units equal to three times the number of friendly units tied this battle. It's the whole floor. Now, right now, we actually aren't having a lot of units die yet. This sounds like it will be really good, but... Not right now. And we've got other stuff to improve. I'm just going to skip this. I think I can see how that's that there's a whole deck base around this. Um, Ascend and Apply Days 2. Piercing and Damage. Since what we might need more than anything else is more disposable creatures. Not that's, I mean, it coming back enhanced is good, but maybe, you know what? No, we want other things to come back instead of you. All right, I definitely have to, I, I'm not going to save the dredges anymore the same way, I don't think. Artifact is amazing. Upgrading our units is good. I mean, there's random shit here. Duplicating a card. Um, I don't know if we're one we're craving desperately to duplicate right now. It'd mostly be some of our spells, and they haven't been enhanced. I think I'm going to go to the right here um, for the artifact. Let's grab that first. Okay, we know the jack strips are good. Cards with consume, 50% chance to be discarded instead. I think I will take the jack strips. I don't really want a large stone anything more, you know? Um, actually, what I want is strength stone. Unless I want to re-roll for something more potent. But no, I think I might save some money. I'll just give you the 40. That's going to be okay. Um, honestly, the dredges could probably deal with being larger. Let's do that. And then let's give the battle stone to the lady of the house. I like it. And I will purge a train steward. And then I think I'm going to stop because that would be all our money. And we may want to do some crazy purchases next turn. Uh, oh, let me put a cut in here. Guys, guys, I caught the cut. We're going to put a cut in here, folks. And then we're going to continue this run as the uh, the melting. Um, it's going to be hard to replace how much I love the Umbra. But I really like the melting mechanics. Um, and now I'm like, I'm seeing at least three different ways you can build these melting decks now. And that's cool. Our, our deck is going to be kind of a crazy mishmash um, going into it because, you know, just picking some stuff at random the first time. But yeah, there's some cool ass stuff that's going to happen there. And this is without us even having some extra unlocks. Very excited to see where this one's going to go. Folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Bye bye.